Welcome back to Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily remove YouTube shorts from your YouTube homepage recommended on the web browser, on your mobile phone, and on tablets. Now I've seen a lot of methods to do this that involve clearing out search histories and trying to tell YouTube you're not interested in shorts. And although those methods might work, they are kind of clunky and not necessarily reliable. So in this video, I'm going to present the way that I do it that has worked very well for me for about 30 days now. So if I load into the YouTube app on my iPhone here, you can see that it has a shelf recommending shorts to me. There is no X button. There's no way to really get rid of this. All I can do is click on a short and say I'm not interested in that specific content, but that doesn't tell YouTube overall that I'm not interested in shorts. So the way to actually get rid of this from your phone is to either access YouTube through your web browser. So I'm gonna hop onto the web browser right here. You do have to be into the same YouTube account and more specifically the same YouTube channel. So now what I'm going to do is scroll until I can see a shelf recommending shorts to me. All you have to do to get rid of this is go and look on the top right hand corner of this shelf and click on the not interested button. Then it's going to go and say that the shelf will be hidden for 30 days. This is another limitation of this approach. If I go and refresh the page and scroll through a bit, you can see that there aren't any shorts recommended to me. This also applies for other YouTube shells, such as this YouTube featured. I can go and hide that message. I can also do the same for the equally annoying uh, YouTube movies and TV shelves. Just go and press the X there refresh the page. And now basically all that I'm getting recommended to me are YouTube videos, which is why I go to YouTube in the first place. Of course, you can still access the shorts content on the sidebar here. It will go and present that same algorithm that it used in the past to recommend that content to you. If I go back to my iPhone and go and refresh this page here, it is not recommending any YouTube shorts to me, which is all that I really wanted. One other limitation to this approach, however, is that it will still recommend YouTube shorts to you on a video watch page. Sometimes it doesn't do it, sometimes it does. Yeah, as you can see over here, it is still recommending YouTube shorts to me, which is a shame, but just removing them from my homepage has definitely cut back significantly on the amount of time that I spend watching this short form content. So I'd like to go and provide a very quick update. Unfortunately, after a month, you do have to disable YouTube Shorts again. They will inevitably reappear in your feed. I recorded the last clip back in May, and now it is mid-June, and as you can see, YouTube Shorts appear right at the beginning of my feed, so you will have to repeat that same process every single month in order to remove them. I would like to emphasize that you have to do this for each of your YouTube channels, not just each of your YouTube accounts. If you disable it on your YouTube channel, it will be disabled across all of your different devices, including your smart TVs, your tablets, your web browser, so on and so forth. Now, there are definitely other methods to attempt to do this, such as downgrading the application or possibly using other third-party apps. I haven't really tried any of those yet. I would definitely not recommend, however, that you do things such as authorizing your Gmail account to be used with unknown third-party services that might not be reputable and might be trying to steal your data and I also would definitely not recommend that you downgrade the YouTube application, especially to a version that is over a year old. That could be a massive security risk, especially if you're using your primary Google account. So with that said, let's jump back to past MindTech. And really the purpose for me to remove this content from my feed is just because I don't think it contributes a lot to my life. I prefer to watch long form content that I go and seek out to, that I subscribe to based on hobbies and interests that I have that either have some sort of educational value. But with YouTube Shorts, although you might click onto a video that is relevant to something that you're interested in, once you go and watch like five or so shorts, the type of content just derives so far from the original content that you were seeking out that it basically becomes mindless. You're basically stuck in this mindless loop of watching this algorithmically generated content that is just barely related to something that you might be interested in. And I was just seeing that I was spending like 30, 40 minutes watching this. And then it started recommending all these random channels that, you know, I happen to watch more on shorts than the other channels that they recommended to me, but they just were not related to anything I was interested in at all. I'm old school. I prefer the old school type of YouTube content. And hopefully if you prefer that type of content too, this video was helpful. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.